Hey guys, um, it's Dad. I wanted to make kind of a different video today um, and feel free to skip it if you don't want to watch me doing nothing um, and just talking about myself for a while. Uh, but I just got done, you know, I was watching some fun videos. Um, I was actually looking up like uh, uh, the best way to use uh, decoy grenades because I just started using them and I, I think they're <laughs> really funny and really interesting and also really cool. Um, and uh, then I started to wander, of course, as uh, one does. Um, kind of got sucked into a loop of watching all these uh, great videos. Um, people getting back banned, like just a lot of different stuff. And then um, I found I found a user whose um, name I, I don't remember and I, I don't feel like I need to post it because I don't feel like he did anything wrong or anything and I, I left him a nice little comment. Um, but uh, you know he has like a following of maybe he'll get like 10,000 views per video which is um, I guess comparatively small to like the biggest streamers and uh, YouTubers but um, is a significant number of people, right? And uh, one of his videos was just about him and his friends um, fucking with a girl that had come onto the server. And uh, his whole thing was that it was, um, it was benign and she thought it was funny, so it was okay. And uh, you, you can just hear the conversation, right? It's like about half an hour of, of them making dumb jokes about her being an IRL grill um you know saying her voice was sexy stuff like that and she she plays it cool the whole time she seems really chill uh she does mention her boyfriend to kind of deter them a little bit but um it wasn't nearly as funny i don't think as uh the guy that posted it thought it was it kind of seemed to me like a very everyday interaction that um that almost every girl has to deal with if they decide to open their mouths in CSGO um, and some other games, but uh, mostly CSGO. <laughs> um, and someone else had already commented that, like, you know, try and imagine um, th this kind of attention coming to you when you just want to play, play just a match, right, with some chill people. Um, but like 95% of the time that you ever try and play, right? So um, it's, it's a little different from being um, accepting of and tolerant of the fact that you will run into all kinds of personalities on the internet. It goes a little beyond that because it's so pervasive and uh, mob mentality is also a thing, right? Um, and that, that sounds really kind of grim, but I, I really mean it in a casual sense, which is that there are often a lot of um, younger and maybe uh, more insecure players or uh, players that you know didn't come in with their with their crew they didn't roll in you know five deep uh, you know with like inside jokes and stuff so like they they want to be accepted they want to do whatever other people are doing and most of the time um, some of it involves kind of just fucking around with whatever girls on the server right and then there are also people that just like genuinely crave sexual attention from a female um, and that's fine I understand that I've been there I've been like horny and sad as fuck um, but you have to think about who who you're talking to and how much they have to deal with that every day so um, I will preface this by saying that um, this is not like a Gamergate thing like I don't even know if that's related because I have no idea what happened during Gamergate and to be completely honest I don't give a fuck like my friends I've asked my friends to explain it to me a couple times uh, yeah, just no shit and clue what happened, so, um, this isn't one of those things. I am not an Anita Sarkeesian fan, um, this isn't really a feminist rant, it's more just, like, a rant about me being a girl and leave me the fuck alone. Um, but the ending of this video has a twist, so stick around. Um, the other night I, uh, I was drinking which i think i've mentioned a few times is like a new wish thing for me like i drink a ton in college i got it all out of my system i drink a ton in high school uh i get to school before i take the train up i take the subway up before first period meet up with my uh, nerdy hooligan friends um and just like fill half a cup of coffee with liquor and then coffee coffee and liquor um and just be wasted before first period so 
like uh, I, I, I stepped away from that for a couple of years, but um, I realized that uh, late night gaming um, and and uh, binge drinking go well to get, they go really well together. And uh, as habits go, they're pretty safe because um, you're sitting in front of a screen and you're talking to people that can't possibly actually uh, hurt you. Um, and you're not going anywhere and it'll prevent you from doing uh, really shitty stuff like drunk driving or whatever because you're you just you can't stop playing CSGO and you're drunk and you know so it's like it's fun it's been fun I've been drinking um, I signed on to the server the other night I think it's like two or three nights ago uh, where you could immediately tell as soon as you entered um, from from the voice chat that uh, at least three or four of the guys knew each other either in real life or they played together frequently um, I don't think they were part of an, like an actual clan or anything, but you know they were very familiar with each other and they were just having a great time. You know the way that I have a great time when I'm playing with my friends. Um, you do get kind of a sense that um, shit's great because like you got backup. Um, you know, you got your buddies in there who get you. Um, you know that if you say something, like one of them's gonna at least be nice enough to laugh about it so that you don't feel like a fucking idiot. Um, so I don't blame them for any of that, but, um, I got the most vicious, uh, knee-jerk hate that I've gotten in a really long time, um, which is, you know, along the lines of, okay, the first thing, I don't know if this is a meme or just, like, it's just something that pops into guys' heads, um, because they can't see me, right, is, uh, your voice sounds fat, um, which in my case might be true because I have a very kind of like a low voice sometimes and I'm also very nasal um, so I mean I'm I'll sometimes I'll argue and be like how do you like what what does a fat voice sound like whatever like you know kind of try and like logic them out of feeling smart um, but I wasn't in the mood to do that so I kind of um, just kept my voice real really low just modulated uh, any like flashes of annoyance I might be feeling um, it got worse it was you know just like uh, gonna fuck you and your mother you worthless slut whatever things like that uh, I bet you're ugly um, all negative things right like it wasn't like positive sexual trolling um, so I decided to try something different which I've never done before normally I'll um, I make a point of like it's happened a couple times in TF2 and I always make a point of uh, following that person to whatever team um, because uh, TF2 doesn't have all talk turned on uh, by default on Valve servers so I'll follow them to their um, to their team specifically to make a point that like hey we can keep talking about this bullshit if you want to um, Sometimes I'll just quit if I feel like I just I'm not in I'm not in the state of mind to deal with that. Um, Cause I wouldn't say that I'm the most insecure person really, and uh, I can I'm very open talking about like issues my body has had, like uh, um, issues that I've had with um, you know drugs or exercise or sex things like that. Like I'll talk about whatever. And um, it's generally not for attention. It's it's more just that like I really love talking about myself, and I also find the human body to be disgusting and hilarious and uh, worth talking about, right? Um, so I'm like really open about that. So I may be a little bit more tolerant than some people are when I get that kind of trash talk, right? Like I'll be I'll be very flat-footed and be like. Um, yeah, like, you know, do you want to talk about my weight loss regimen? Like, you know, I can tell you about, like, the things that have worked for me. And um, a lot of the time, it, the guys get kind of, like, heated up. And then I'll make fun of them for having, like, you know, a hysterical voice or whatever. Kind of, like, turn around the whole girl thing on them. Anyway, it's, it's boring. Like, I, I'm not some, you know, like, master of wit. But, like, I can hold my own when that shit happens. Um, or I'll go be upset somewhere else where they can't see me but um that night I was drinking I was feeling fine I was kind of irritated that they were they were shitting on my feeling fineness so I decided to try something new and I challenged them to all come into a tiny chat with me which if you don't know is kind of like Skype but it's browser based and anyone can turn on their camera if they want it's a chat room that's all it is um, it's super easy to make 
Uh, and I said, um, let me see y'all nerds' ugly faces. Like, come on over. Like, but it was kind of friendly, you know? I was kind of like forgiving them for being, I mean, they were being really awful. So uh, I invited them into a tiny chat. I gave them the link in the chat. Um, and I also challenged them to go shot for shot with me because um, I knew that I could beat any of their asses at drinking, um, which is not something to really be proud of given that I've started drinking like four weeks ago and that my tolerance has uh, risen, but um, I've always been the uh, unusual small Asian female that can uh, drink and drink and drink and drink and drink and not vomit until the next morning when nobody's watching. So, um, and I don't get red either, um, to the point that like sometimes people ask me if I'm drinking like water or iced tea. Uh, so it was kind of like a, a really like mild come at me bro, but also like a come hang out, right? But, uh, so when I opened it like five or six, seven people showed up immediately and all of them had excuses as to why they couldn't turn on their webcams, which I find really hard to believe. Um, some people were saying that, oh, I'm playing on my laptop and my laptop doesn't have a webcam and it's uh, kind of like almost all... If you have a laptop that can handle um, a little, uh, CSGO um, and Tiny Chat at the same time and uh, you've been playing well, because um, I've been watching them play, uh, it probably has a webcam. It's probably new enough that it has a webcam built in. Um, but zero people were willing to go on camera. Um, one guy was like chill. He really wanted to drink with me, so we, we drank. We drank together. But um, the main thing I noticed was that there was an immediate um, tide shift in terms of uh, the kind of things that were being said to me. And um, I will say that uh, um, I was pretty much the center of attention on this particular server just because like I think they were bored and nobody was playing that seriously it was late at night um, so basically they had all been kind of um, you know just you know slinging shit at me uh, and then the tiny chat kind of became the center of what everyone was talking about um, and uh, and then I was still the center of attention afterwards, but it was all positive sexual attention now, but it was sexual, and um, I don't know, it was just a really weird experience, but at the end of um, the night, like, because we all stayed up until like 8 a.m., like the whole group, um, until I just, I left to go play like deathmatch for like 10 minutes before passing out, uh, but I actually ended up having a lot of fun towards the end. Um, and I, I honestly think it's because I reacted in a different way than I normally do, right? Um, like if I leave or just argue, that's kind of maintaining the status quo. Like no, no matter how good, you know, one of my snappy comebacks may be, it's still the same dynamic that always happens, right? Um, some poor girl is victimized and, and she either turns out, you know, not to be as, as meek and insecure as you might think, uh, and, and she'll kind of like bite back a little bit um, or she'll get upset and she'll leave or you know maybe cry on camera and get donations for it um, you know who you are uh, but that's that's the that's the norm and that doesn't change right so um, by kind of changing the script a little bit um, which I think anyone can do and I don't think I like invented anything amazing or anything but by kind of um, shifting the tone, right, to being kind of challenging but also friendly, uh, things changed like really drastically. But at the end of the day, um, I was still getting that same fucking like gendered attention that I sometimes I just like I just I literally just mute everything even though that kind of hurts me because I can't hear footsteps, I can't, um, you know, uh, be very alert and cognizant to what's going on. Um, sometimes I just have to mute them. Um, <clears throat> what was my point? My point is that uh, this shit happens to me like 95% of the time. Most of the time it's not the vicious kind. Like It's more just like the hey baby or like uh, um, my cock is really big. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm sure it is. Uh, <laughs> I believe in you, buddy. Um, stuff like that. Uh, 
But here is the true conclusion to my story, and it's a M. Night Shyamalan um, twist ending, is that when I first started playing, uh, my friends told me that uh, the CSGO mm -hmm. like, um, community would be a lot more brutal to me than TF2 was, uh, and um, that I'd probably get more upset or have more clashes. Um, like I was given this warning by several people when I told them that I was interested in playing, uh, and the surprising thing is that because there's so many people who rolled over from uh, original Counter-Strike or Counter-Strike Source um, is that there is an older player base, right? There are a lot of young people, but there are also a lot of kind of reasonable, like, there are like married men with children, um, uh, guys that are my age or a little bit older, um, I'm 28, uh, and I've had a surprising number of really positive interactions um, with uh, with dudes on on CS:GO, and uh, for that, like, I'm I'm really thankful and I'm really happy and um, really pleasantly surprised because, I mean, like, there are very few places where you can have fun and meet new people. Uh, and not have it be awkward like for instance like I tried dating on OkCupid okay like twice and that was just awful because it's like people are constructing themselves you know but on CSGO like people are mostly just like they're just they just chilling and, and you know doing whatever they're doing it's casual um and I've had maybe some of the best conversations and like jokes and back and forths that I've had in a really long time on CSGO. So good for you, uh, men of CSGO, for uh, being decent some of the time. Um, but uh, yeah, just, I mean, if you're watching this, uh, <laughs> just be like cognizant of the fact that women often have to put on more of a persona than you do um, in order to uh, successfully just be able to play a fucking game in peace, right? Um, you know, I can pretend like I just don't hear you when you're fucking with me, or I can be like the benevolent, um, you know, just like nice, like girl's girl who's like, you know, like giggles when, you know, you say I'm cute or you want to fuck me or whatever. I'm like, uh, like, oh, don't say that, you know? I have a boyfriend or whatever lie um, <laughs> or uh, what else I can be super aggressive and then probably get kicked in about five seconds um, I can pretend that I'm feeling a lot calmer than I am um, sometimes I am calm sometimes I'm not but you know it's, it's a very important thing in, in the year of our Lord 2016 on the internet to appear cool it's uh, like just cool right um, if you care too much, that's, that's considered a fail. Um, so that's something you can do. Or you can play up the whole, like, bimbo sex kitten thing and try and get sympathy from a percentage of people on the server. Because other people will not fall for that shit, and it'll make it so much worse. But, um, uh, I mean, I rarely do that. Like, you, I mean, have you ever really seen, seen my boobs? Like, have you ever seen me, like, turn the camera down to my tits? I mean... I only do that for special people and I don't do it online. <laughs> I don't do it on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I mean, the options are limited and it sucks that um, girls have to choose between any of them at all. Like, uh, can I just hit my, my uh, push to talk? Can I just hit that and say there is someone in the pit and not be destroyed or harassed or uh, jacked off over um, that would be really cool so um, men of CSGO uh, you know keep it chill some of you guys are really really awesome like beyond awesome uh, boys of CSGO like just if you see a, a adult man being a douche and you think he's cool um, you're a fucking idiot just go back to school. just wash your feet go to sleep go to school like <laughs> you don't need to you don't need to be like these uh fucking dudes that never grew up right um there are better people that play this game um some really cool people uh i've talked about the weirdest things um you know marriage raising children uh 
how weird breast milk is, um, who you're voting for, like shit like that. Um, and uh, I'm fine with the trash talk too. You know what? Bring it on. But um, just remember that it, it gets it gets really tiring. Um, and if you're a, just a douche by nature, then none of this really matters. And uh, I will continue to verbally fucking wreck you uh, every single time I run into you. But to the rest of you guys, cheers. And um, thank you for watching. And good night.